Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the heights of buildings or other objects um, using a digital surface model and a digital terrain model within QGIS. So I have three layers in my map at the moment. So I have a digital surface model and a digital terrain model. So these are both environment agency open LiDAR data, which is freely available. Um, if you've not got a surface model and terrain model already, then please check out my previous videos for firstly, sources of elevation data, and secondly, how to download and prepare environment agency LiDAR data for use in QGIS. So once you've got those, you also need a layer that outlines the objects you want to calculate the heights of. So here I've got some building outlines which are taken from one of the Ordnance Survey's open mapping layers, their OS open map local. So because a DSM and DTM are basically one layer with um, buildings, trees and other objects, so that's our surface model, and one layer in which those objects have been stripped away. So if we want to calculate heights, essentially what we need to do is calculate the difference between those two layers. And we can do that quite easily with the raster calculator up here under the raster menu. So what we want to do is take our layer that does have all of those objects in, which is our surface model, because that's going to be the higher of the two layers wherever we have our, our buildings or other objects, and then subtract the terrain model, which is the bare earth one that should give us the height approximately of the land underneath those, those objects. So it's simply DSM minus DTM in our raster calculator, and I'm going to call this layer heights.tiff. Click save, okay to run, and this should just take a few seconds. Okay, and now we have our heights layer, so across much of the area, this is zero, where there's no features to take away. Um, but we can see that we have our buildings, trees and other objects showing up here. Now, we could stop there. If I click somewhere on this heights layer, it's going to give me the elevation at that point. So 10.6 meters at that particular point. But what we ideally want to do is to be able to add this as an attribute to our vector layer, so in this case the building shapes, so that we can visualize that in other ways. And the way that we're going to do that is using something called zonal statistics. So if you click on your processing option up here and open the toolbox and then type in zonal, and we're going to use the QGIS built-in zonal statistics tool at the top here. So double click to open that. And the first thing we need to do is pick the raster layer that we want to calculate statistics for, um, which in this case is our heights layer that's come up at the top automatically. It only has one band, so we don't need to worry about that. And then our vector layer containing zones. So our zones are our buildings. So this is the, the building layer um, down here. Um, basically what's gonna happen is it's going to add a number of columns into the attributes table of our building layer with the statistics that we want to calculate. So under the output column prefix, I'm actually going to prefix all of these with height underscore. And then if you click on the ellipsis down here, we can actually pick which statistics we want to calculate. Um, so there's all kinds of statistics, so we can count the number of pixels in the area, we can add them all together, neither of which are particularly useful for height data. Um, but what are probably useful is the mean height, so the average height um, of each building, and the minimum and maximum heights. So I'm going to select those three statistics, click OK, and then click to run. And again, this should only take a few seconds. And once that's finished, we can right click on our buildings layer and open the attribute table to see the fields that have been added. So obviously the building outlines layer and the elevation layer don't have perfect alignment, 
So in a lot of cases, our minimum height is zero because it's overlapping slightly at the edges um, with the zero height. So what are most useful are probably the mean height and the maximum height. So obviously many of our roofs are gonna be sloping. So maximum height should in theory give us something like the, the top height of, um, of the ridge of the building. Um, and mean height is gonna fall somewhere in the middle. So now we've got those, we can go to properties and actually change our symbology from a single symbol to graduated and set that based on, I'm actually going to use the, the maximum, maximum height and click classify. Ooh, um, set to outlines at the moment. So I just need to change this to a um, fill to be filled in. So our lowest buildings are going to show quite white going up to our tallest buildings, which are going to be redder. And there we go. We've now calculated and visualized our building layers based on their elevation. Um, so hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with my future videos. Thanks.